English conversation. Rice production. First conversation. A sunny afternoon at a rice paddy in Prey Veng Province, Cambodia. Two farmers, Lena and Sokan, are taking a break from planting seedlings. Sokan, this sun is relentless. I feel like I've been planting forever. Tell me about it. But just imagine, Lena, soon these fields will be a sea of emerald green, and in a few months, we'll be harvesting golden grains. It's all worth it in the end. Absolutely. Rice is our lifeblood here in Cambodia. It's not just food, it's our culture, our heritage. You're right. Rice farming has been in our families for generations. My grandfather used to tell stories about the different rice varieties, the importance of water management, and the rituals associated with each stage of the crop cycle. My grandmother taught me how to prepare the seedlings, how to judge the perfect time for transplanting, and the art of weeding without disturbing the delicate roots. It's like a dance, you know? I understand. Every step requires patience, skill, and a deep connection to the land. It's not just about growing rice, it's about nurturing life itself. Speaking of nurturing, have you heard about the new pest-resistant rice varieties being developed by the Agricultural Research Institute? Yes. I'm hoping they'll be available to us soon. Pests can be a real challenge, especially with the changing climate. They say these new varieties are also more drought tolerant, which is crucial with the unpredictable rainfall patterns we've been experiencing. Innovation is key to the future of rice farming. We need to embrace new technologies and practices while preserving our traditional knowledge. Exactly. It's about finding the right balance between old and new, between respecting the land and adapting to changing times. Looks around at the vast expanse of paddy fields, just look at this land, Lena. It's fed our ancestors for centuries, and it will continue to feed generations to come. It's our responsibility to take care of it, to ensure its bounty for years to come. You're right, Sokan. We are the guardians of this land, the Rice Whisperers. We owe it to our past, our present, and our future to keep the tradition alive.
raises his hand in a toast to the rice, the land, and the generations to come. Raises her hand to life, to knowledge, and to the endless dance of rice farming. Second conversation. A bright afternoon in the Cambodian province of Preveng at a rice paddies. Lena and Sokan, two farmers, are enjoying a break from sowing seedlings. This sun is unrelenting, Sokan. I've been gardening for what seems like ages. Describe it to me. But just think, Lena, in a few months we'll be reaping golden grains, and these fields will be an emerald sea. After all, it's all worthwhile. Indeed. Here in Cambodia, rice is essential to existence. It's more than simply food, it's our history and culture. You're accurate. Our families have farmed rice for many centuries. Stories about the various types of rice, the significance of water management, and the customs connected to each crop cycle stage were all topics my grandpa used to share. I learned from my grandma how to care for the seedlings, when to transfer them, and how to pull weeds without uprooting the fragile roots. It's like to a dance, understand. I recognize. Patience, expertise, and a strong connection to the land are necessary for each phase. It's about nourishing life itself, not simply about cultivating rice. Regarding rearing, are you aware of the new rice cultivars that are resistant to pests that the Agricultural Research Center is working on? Indeed. I'm hopeful we'll be able to have them shortly. Particularly in light of the changing environment, pests may be a major concern. These new types, so the story goes, are also more drought tolerant, which is important given the erratic rainfall patterns we've been seeing. Rice farming's future depends on innovation. It is imperative that we accept novel technology and methodologies while conserving our conventional wisdom. Indeed. It all comes down to striking the correct balance between the old and the new, between honoring the land and adjusting to the ways of change. Observing the enormous stretch of rice fields in the area, Lena, just take a look at this terrain. It has provided centuries of food for our ancestors and will do so for future generations. It is our duty to care for it so that future generations might benefit from its abundance.
Sokan, you're correct. We are the whisperers of rice, the defenders of this land. We must continue the tradition because we owe it to our history, present, and future. Holds up a hand in a toast to the rice, the country, and the future generations. Holds up a hand to life, to wisdom, and to the never-ending rice farming dance. Thank you for watching.